Good morning, I'm Kristen Folletti and welcome to News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV for Monday, June 10th, 2013. Here's your SiliconANGLE Daily Roundup. Drew Larner, CEO of RDO, is stepping down. Larner believes the time is right to bring on a chief executive who's better equipped to help the streaming music company compete with rivals such as Google and Apple. Larner spoke about his decision, saying the best person to take this to the next level is probably someone with a different skill set. I'm a business guy and a deal guy. The next stage of the company is about building an enormous user and subscription base. And there are people out there better at that than I am. There has been increased competition in the streaming music service space, but RDO has some unique features that a new CEO may be able to leverage. The company recently introduced a complimentary streaming video service called Video. Multiple sources are indicating that Google is close to completing a $1.3 billion deal to acquire the social mapping app Waze. There have been ongoing rumors about a possible purchase. At one point, sources indicated that the final sticking point was the insistence by Waze that the research and development of the company remain in Israel. Terms of the deal are said to include a guarantee that Waze will remain in place for at least three years. After the acquisition is finalized, Waze will most likely continue as an independent product. Analysts suspect that this was a defensive move on Google's part to ensure the continued prominence of Google Maps. At one time, Apple showed interest in Waze to supplement its lackluster map product. Facebook was also in talks to buy the map app when Google came in and made an offer that apparently couldn't be refused. The deal with Google could be announced as early as this week. AT&T customers who are anxious to upgrade their phones may have to wait a little longer. The second largest U.S. phone carrier announced that it's extending the period that customers must wait between phone upgrades. In a move that mirrors top wireless carrier Verizon, the waiting period is now 24 months, up from 20. Customers who aren't willing to wait can still upgrade their phones, but they won't receive the upgrade subsidy from AT&T. Sprint continues to allow phone upgrades every 20 months. T-Mobile no longer provides subsidized phones, but will help finance new phones by temporarily increasing customers' monthly payments. With T-Mobile's plan, the balance can be paid off at any time, and customers are free to finance a new phone as soon as the previous balance is paid. PQI unveiled its new hybrid portable wireless access point at this year's Computex. Named PowerDrive, the device works like a traditional wireless hotspot device, but includes a few extra perks. Along with hotspot capabilities, the device doubles as a hard drive, making it a networked storage option. Users will have the ability to send and receive files over Wi-Fi. The PowerDrive includes both a micro SD slot and a standard SD slot, so photographers using DSLR cameras will no longer have to wait to share their snapshots with the world. Transferring photos from the memory card to the power drive and from the power drive to a smartphone over Wi-Fi makes photo sharing even more simple. Yet another feature of the power drive is the ability to act as a USB power bank. If your smartphone battery is running low, you can simply plug it into the power drive for a quick recharge. The power drive has the potential to be one of the most versatile Wi-Fi products on the market. PQI has not yet indicated when the power drive will ship or what the expected retail price will be. More news from PQI as they've announced an update to the classic way of encrypting your devices. By taking advantage of NFC on Android or Windows 8 devices, the access modes can now be changed easily and safely. First, you choose the desired mode in the app on your phone, type in a password, and tap the flash drive to the back of your device. Even with the drive out of the computer, the access mode can be changed on the fly without having to delve deep into the computer's drive utility. In addition, the drive won't even show up as an active disk without unlocking it from the app. This additional layer of protection combines ease of use and innovative security features for those users who aren't well versed in the science of encryption. The drive is set to launch in the fourth quarter of this year and will be available in sizes from 8 to 64 gigabytes. A prototype for a new high-speed thumb drive has surfaced at the Computex trade show in Taipei. 
and this prototype threatens to put your current USB drive to shame. The 128 gigabyte drive from Intel features a SanDisk solid state drive and runs on a Thunderbolt connection. This portable powerhouse would provide transfer speeds twice as fast as the latest generation of USB, yet keep a similarly small form factor. What's more exciting is the recent announcement of Intel's Thunderbolt 2 connections, which further doubles transfer speeds to 20 gigabits per second. Because it's simply a prototype for now, there's no release date in sight. Fortunately, we can expect to see a number of other Thunderbolt 2 products hit the shelves before the year is up. For complete information on tech innovation and daily breaking analysis, be sure to join us mornings at 8.30 a.m. Central here at News Desk on SiliconANGLE TV.